Hello everyone. My name is Miss Amon and I am the Indigenous Programs Coordinator. We are here making damper and I'm going to pass it over to Alex. Okay. Hi sisters, brothers, my name's Murundindi and we're here to make damper. But before you make damper or do any cooking in the kitchen, the first thing you need, sanitizer. I've washed my hands, sanitize your hands, make sure they're nice and clean. I've used that sanitizer on my hands, my hands are turning white. We've already washed our hands, haven't we? We need a bowl. A plastic or wooden spoon to mix it. Something to mix in. <laughs> then we need, yep, we need self-raising flour. Self-raising flour. Right. Right in the container. We want two cups of self-raising flour into the bowl. Two cups. Doesn't matter if it's not level, but two cups is, will make two beautiful dampers. Two cups of soft raisin flour into the damper, into the bowl. Then we need bacon powder. Now bacon powder is um, we'll make it rise and make it very very light to eat. We need self-raising flour because self-raising flour will rise also. So we put a teaspoon, a heap of teaspoon in. One, two, two heaps of teaspoons of bacon powder. Now what we need now. There's a pinch of salt. Some salt, little pinch of salt. Then we've got lemon myrtle leaves, or we have lemon myrtle powder. This is lemon myrtle powder. That's the lemon myrtle powder already grounded. Or you can have lemon myrtle leaves. And what you do with the leaf, you can put it in hot water and let it soak while you're putting your damper. Then you tip your hot water into your damper, not your leaf. Okay. Okay? So if you haven't got the leaf, you can get the powder at the supermarkets. So we need um, a teaspoon in, two teaspoons of powder in of lemon myrtle powder. And um, when you finish with the ingredients, it's always wise to put your lids back on so you don't spill them. So I'm very fussy, very fussy chef. Now, here is a jug of warm water. So we put warm water in. And when you tip the warm water in or cold water in, you'll see lots of little bubbles. That is fantastic. Now you don't need a lot of water. As you can see here, no, oh, I can't tip it up too much. So you might see the bubbles, right? So maybe should we start with about half a cup of water, Myron Dindy? I'd say about half a cup of water, then mix that in. You've got to mix it in. And it will start to um, take up, and it should go like this. See the dough? Yes. Right. Now, mixing it in. If you've got wattle seeds, you can always put wattle seeds in there, and wattle seeds give it a nice flavour. I've got some wattle seeds, so I might put some wattle seed in mine. Yeah, is that just is that just plain wattle seeds? It is, yeah. Ground okay. wattle seed. Ground wattle seeds, yep. Yeah. I'd probably put uh, maybe about two sprinkles in. Two sprinkles. Yep. 
Yep. And mix that in. Now, one seed has such a lovely um, kind of coffee, chocolatey kind of smell. Yep. Actually, you'll find when you take your damper out, if you've got wattle seeds in it, yeah. it'll look like a chocolate cake when you take it out. Ah, there you go. It does taste like a chocolate cake. I'm excited. Now, you've got to mix it until you get a consistency. Oh, there's that word, consistency. I've heard that from MasterChef, I think. Well, this is like MLC MasterChef, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And if you look here, see how mine's all sticking together? Okay, so... It's not in a clump, sticking together. You need more, um, you might need more water. It might be too sloppy. Oh, it's not, it's not too sloppy. Mine is actually perfect. Pardon? Of course, yours is perfect. That's right, perfect. <laughs> now, so how's mine with my rendendi? Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. Wonderful. As Alex going there? Just, oh, yeah, going good. Now, what we do? We need some flour. Yeah. Some flour on your bench, like this. Sprinkle it around. Right over. Now you can tip your damper out on the bench into the flour, and that's the way it should come out like that. Look, it's falling out in a clump. Yep. Right? There it is, there in a clump. Yep. Can you see mine on the bench? Yep. Excellent. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, um, always wise while you're um, doing that, just soak your bowl in your sink so the dust stick and a little bit of water in there. Now, what we do, a little sprinkle of flour over the damper, not too much. Right, then you roll it, you do it very softly. This will make two beautiful dampers. Roll it. Now, break it in half, a twist. Right, now, this comes in handy, right? You've got to be very soft with it. Now what you've got to do, you got to roll, twist it around like that. Twist it around. Be very gentle with it. And give it a little soft pat. <laughs> around. Soft pat. Don't hit that down hard because if you hit that hard, the dough will, after hitting down a few times, will go all soggy. <laughs> And get your whole hand around it and sort of twist it around in your hand like that. Another roll, roll, pat, pat. Roll, roll, pat, pat. Roll, roll, pat, pat. Now, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, oh, it's much here. better than mine, my and Indy. Yes, well, no. you're going to go back to the cooking class. <laughs> so that's what it should look like. Yep. Very, that looks pretty good. That looks good. Alex, it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, right. no, no. Yes. When you lift it, lift it very gently. Put your hand underneath, like that. Right? And that goes straight onto your tray. Like that. With some baking paper. Put baking paper on it. A baking paper on it if you want to. You don't have to. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, there it is there on the tray. One. Right? Now, we'll work on the other one. Right. Mold the bread, uh, the damper by pushing it in. You get the nice consistency. Then twist it around like this. Pat, pat. Round, round. Pat, pat. Round, round. Pat, pat. Round, round. Pat, pat. We had Kindle make this um, damper last year. 
when they were at uh, school, and they they made a fantastic damper the Kindle uh, students. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to see more, more examples from the MLC community making some wattle seed or some lemon myrtle damper. Yep, it was a great success. Um, this week, I think we've made about from the schools that I go to. I think we've done it probably about six times this week. There you go. I, I've just realised I divided my damper very appallingly and I have a mummy-sized damper and a baby-sized damper. <laughs> That's okay. Well, you'll find uh, in half an hour, put the small, uh, have a look at the small one. What yep. you, do, you get a skewer, poke your skewer in, or if you tap yep. on the side of it, if you tap on the side of it, you'll find that it's, um, it'll sound hollow. That means it's cooked. So, how, so do we put this in the oven now, Murray and We'll put this in the oven and we'll check, check on it in about 25 minutes. Sure. All right, so right. It goes, it goes of about 100 and, um, 125 to 130. Yep. So you pop it in the oven, we'll pop it in the oven. All right, let's go, we'll go put it in the oven and we'll come back. So Maren Dindy, we're going to leave that in the oven for about 25 minutes now. Yes. And we'll come back and check it. And you said it should sound hollow? Yeah, you tap on the side of it. Wonderful. Yep. All right. So I've washed my hands now. And I'll come and turn my computer around and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So... We've got damper tonight for dinner. We are. I'm having damper with my afternoon coffee. I'm looking forward to it. I'll tell you what it tastes nice with some butter. Yes. And jam. Oh, or honey over it. Or honey. Or better still, treacle if you've got it. Treacle. <laughs> I've got a, I've got golden syrup. I don't have treacle. Same thing. Same thing. That'll do fantastic. So, um, yeah, so I hope the girls enjoy doing that. So, Maren Bindi, what, I guess, what is the damper and what was it used for? It was used for food. Well, see, going back um, <clears throat> before English people came here, what my people would do, they'd use the uh, grass seeds to make damper. They'd um, use the grass seeds, and if there wasn't any grass seeds out, <clears throat> the fungus you've seen me with doing the yeah. ceremony, they'd put that in the coals of the fire and cook it and eat it. <clears throat> That is very similar. That's called bread fungus. The reason it's called bread fungus, the Aboriginal people used to eat it. I didn't hear that. Yeah, bread yeah. fungus. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and we use wattle seed and lemon myrtle in that. Um, so what is the significance of the <laughs> The significance of wattle seeds. And lemon myrtle. And lemon myrtle. It gives it more flavour. We'll see, it's a, lemon myrtle is native to native to the area, uh, so seeds. If you can't get seeds, um, you can always get lemon myrtle. So uh, that was in the office. And I know I'm always saying that lemon myrtle helps digestion. Um, so are there any traditional uses of these ingredients like that? It's just healthy. It's healthy. It's healthy. See, every, every, They've lived on the land for thousands and thousands of years. And uh, like myself, I'm 75 this year. And uh, I live very healthy. And if you live healthy, you're going to live a long life. And uh, people, uh, going back to my ancestors, you know, my great grandmother lived to the age of 103. My great grandfather lived to the age of 100. Uh, they lived up in the <laughs> So you go into the outback in other parts of Australia, Aboriginal people can live that long. So Marindindi, how is the wattle seed? Um, I know you've spoken about the wattle trees and the wattle seed previously. Um, how does the wattle seed grow or how does the wattle tree grow? And then I guess how is it you know, harvested to get this beautiful chocolatey coffee smelling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what happens, um, <clears throat> you've got your wattle tree growing. Uh, wattle trees always grow around near the rivers and the creeks, uh, so they get in the moisture. 
then um, the blossom will come on the tree. And once the blossom comes on the tree, after the blossom, the wattle seeds come out. So therefore, you harvest the tree, you can take them when they're dried out, you can take them when they're green. But if you've got to make damper or use it for coffee, you take it, wait till they dry out. Then they'd have a grinding stone and they would grind them. And, um, you know, after the wattle seeds go, um, there's no use for the wattle tree until next year. Oh, there, no, no, there, no, there is, because what they do then, you get wattle grubs in the tree. You get grubs about as big as your middle finger, and it's called a wattle grub. And um, most um, wattle trees have wattle grubs in them. And how you know if there's a wattle grub in there, uh, you could walk past that tree and wouldn't know what to look for. I know what to look for. You see little tiny holes about as big as your little finger in there. In there. So you look on the ground and you'll see like sawdust, dirty sawdust. So therefore there, there's wattle grub. If it's a fresh sawdust, you know there's wattle grub still in there. If it's a dried out sawdust, you know they've been there and they've gone into another wattle tree. So that's the thing to look for. So, so you've got wattle grubs in there. Wonderful. So I guess that just shows how um, you know plants have have multiple purposes, multiple uses, like uses from the the, the wattle seed to the grub, etc. Yep. Did you check the time what we put when we put that damper in? Yeah, we put that in about five minutes ago. Five minutes. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, about, about just before three. It was about three forty-eight, I think it was. Okay, three forty-eight. All right. So, um, yeah, but not only that, my ancestors always passed away when the wattles were out in blossom. And that was the time, uh, it was time for you to go when the wattles were out in blossom. But if you were sick during the year, you would not go until that wattle comes out in blossom. All my people have gone when the wattles have been out in blossom. And they only come out the last week of September, sorry, the last week of August, the first week of September. But over the last, uh, since 2006, they're coming out different times of the year. Like when my uncle passed away, who left me his title, he passed away in February. There was a water. So it means to come and come when we need. Yeah. To the Wurundjeri culture, then. Yeah. Yeah, very significant. Now, would you like to see a lemon myrtle tree in the ground? We would love to see a lemon myrtle tree. I, I, I've only ever seen our dried. Okay. So we'll come down. I'm, I'm in the kitchen. I'm walking down the hallway, and um, I'm just open the front door. And uh, we've got a wattle uh, lemon myrtle in the corner here. Now this lemon myrtle tree was put in about three three years ago as a little sapling. I hope I don't lose you. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. It's a lemon myrtle tree there. Oh, okay. It's and got it was little... only a little sapling, one little branch, like a little stick. Yes. It's got little flowers on it, little blues. Those little flowers are very bright when they come out, very white and bright. Yep. And um, they're just dying off now. Oh, I can smell that damper cooking. Yeah, I can smell the wattle seed actually. Yeah. All right, so with that Murrindindi, we might, um, we will, it's our damper's been in the oven for about 10 minutes now. Yep. We might leave that in there for another 15 minutes and we'll yes. come back and check. Yep. And we hope that everyone has a great time making damper. Um, if you do make damper, please share your photos um, within the Connecting to Country Microsoft team. Um, if not, please feel free to email them to myself, Miss Lucy Amon, or Alex Egan, um, and we might do a bit of a compilation of our damper photos from the Murrindindi video. Well, I'd love to see those photos. I'm sure you would. Yes. All right. So thanks so much for joining us today, Murrindindi, to help us make damper. Um, we hope to see you sometime again for Master Chef with Murrindindi. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much, guys, and keep safe and hope to see you at school very shortly. Take care. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs>